in my answer my answer my opinion guys some people may feel differently some people will be like oh it's a rebuilt title i don't want it this then the third but i'm gonna just tell you guys how i feel about rebuilt title cars and salvage title cars at that right uh, first of all, let's go ahead and go over what a rebuilt title car is. A rebuilt title car is a car that was once salvaged. Uh, it could have been salvaged out for multiple reasons. Uh, it was in a wreck. It was in a flood. Um, mechanical damage. It was stolen. Just to name a few. So, with that being said, just like if it was wrecked, some people be, might be like, oh, the frame was hit and this, that, and the third, right? It just depends on the damage of the car and the repairs that were done on the car. Me personally, I have no problem buying a rebuilt uh, title uh, car. So, for example, I'll give you guys for an example. Let's just say I wanted to buy a Bentley, right? Let's just go to 2017. Boom, I want a 2017 Bentley. And I got the cash. Why am I going to go and go, uh, well, mm, I can't even use that as an example because, you know, a car note allows you to do, well, well, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, like, why would I go pay a car note and I can buy the 2017 Bentley for half, not even, shit, for the half price, right, at, at the salvage yard, rebuild it, fix it, and then have me a Bentley, way less than what I would pay you know, at the um, dealership paying a monthly note, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if you're going to pay a monthly note, you know, it, whether you leased it, if you, well, if you lease the card and all that money's going down the drain, but if you're paying a note for it, you know, you're going to, you're going to pay out of pocket, boy, you feel me? When I could just go to the auction and buy a salvage one, rebuild the title, and now it's rebuilt. So that is one reason you get the car cheaper, right? Um, and again, even for your personal car, like I think that's the most important thing as well. And when it comes to selling like more expensive cars for cheap, so let's go ahead over here to my auto auction re um, research tool. The link is in the description below if you guys would like to use this website here. Um, here we go here. And let me show you guys that was somebody just getting my academy. Literally, somebody just got the academy. Let's go ahead and talk about that first. Literally, somebody just got the academy. All right, and they got the full, the 50% off full package. So this is what people are saying in the Academy, guys. As you can see, um, everybody loves the Academy. I've helped hundreds of other people learn how to buy and sell cars, how to properly inspect these cars at the auction. And this is my monthly membership. Um, with the monthly membership, you get one weekly video lesson. You get 50% off of um, 25 mentioned 25 minute coaching calls with your boy and you get access to my VIP discord where you can talk to me and ask me any question Just for one dollar a day and the most important thing which is what my man just got Where I show you all my tips and tricks how to get your dealer license without a lot without an office space this is literally the easiest way to get your um, License is in the link in the description below the easiest way guys I show you how to get your dealer license where I get all my parts from a list of options I go to the op the, the games that the auctions play, everything, guys, is in the description below, whdacademy.com. All right, you don't want to miss this. Whoa, what's going on here? You don't want to miss it, man. Trust me. All right, now let's go over some salvage title vehicles. This is my auto auction research tool. You do have to pay a monthly subscription to use this as well. This is not with the Academy. This is just something that I have access to um, that, I, that I pay for. The link is in the description below. If you want to use this website as well, so we're gonna go over some sal uh, some salvage titles that were would not have been bad rebuilds if I would have bought them, right? So I'm just gonna go through um, I'm gonna go through the type of stuff that I buy. Now all of these I didn't buy, but these are cars that I looked at in person. You know what I mean? And I was like really debating on um, getting these cars. All right, so let's just look at this one. This is a 2006. And actually, let me go here and let me go transparent so I can actually make myself a little bigger here, right here. Okay, now this was a 26, 2006 Infinity FX. Now, this is the type of stuff I like buying, right? Oh, they got a 360 view. Let's look at the 360 view. This is the type of stuff that I like buying. I repeat, this is the type of stuff I like buying. Look at this car, bro. 
nothing wrong with this card. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I actually missed out on this card, not paying attention, logging in late. I missed out on this car. Look at the interior of the vehicle. Look at the interior of the vehicle, guys. No airbag deploy. No airbag deploy. Why would you want to buy this? Why wouldn't you want to buy this? Why? Cars look beautiful, right? Let's go to another one. Again, I did not get all these, but these were cars that I were looking at. I was looking at. Look at this. Headlight. This is a 2016 Hyundai Elantra. Look, headlight and a bumper, bro. Come on, man. Headlight and a bumper. Uh, wait. I gotta go to the inside. Do you see any airbag deploy? Yeah, the airbag actually did deploy on this one. But I'm gonna tell you all why I will buy this one. Because the airbag deployed right here on the steering wheel. You know how easy it is to fix the one on the steering wheel? It didn't deploy up here. It didn't deploy back here. That's the reason why I went to look at this car. Easy fixes, man. Easy fixes. Let's go to this one. Uh, this one don't got um, 360 view. But this one. Now, this one was mechanically messed up. Again, y'all want to learn all my tips and tricks, head on over to whdacademy.com. This one didn't, it didn't, it wasn't good, but I wanted it to be good, but it wasn't good. This was an easy fix, though. Hood, bumper, headlight, grill. See that? Easy stuff, bro. When I can get this stuff way cheaper, look, no airbag deployed. You know what I'm saying? I can get this stuff way cheaper, bro. Then it would cost me if the airbag wouldn't deploy. Look at this one. Now, this one sold for a lot of money, but look at this. I want it this bad. Uh, What is it? 2013 Mercedes-Benz SL. I want to go look at this car in person. They even had the bumper inside the car. If y'all don't know, Mercedes-Benz parts cost a lot of money. I got the uh, plenty of websites for you guys to get your parts from. In the link in the description below, whdacademy.com, in my full curriculum course. Share that with you guys in there. SL550. Where's the bumper at? They had the bumper inside the car. Okay, they got it right here. They got it right there. So they had the bumper right there. They kind of squished it up because they had put it inside the car. But look at this. Easy fix, bro. Easy fix. No airbag deployed. We already looked on the inside, right? Look, no airbag deployed. Where is the air? There we go. No airbag deployed, bro. So easy stuff, bro. Easy peasy. Let's go to another one. We're going to look at this one because literally this is um, one that I missed out on. I'm so mad I didn't get to see this car. Look at this. BMW X6 2013. The only thing it looked like it needs to me was a rear, a, the trunk. The trunk. Now that that thing probably was gonna cost a lot of money, but I didn't even get to go see this. I went to, meant to go see it, but I didn't have time. Look at this. No airbag deployed. Easy. So again, to answer y'all question, is it cool to buy a rebuilt title car? It depends on what the damage was. I would not mind buying these and rebuilding them. For what? They didn't look. Nothing happened. Fender benders, bro. Fender benders. Fender benders. Fender benders. Right? Let's see if we can see the whole back. Yeah, right there. Fender benders, bro. So, probably would have needed a new... We probably would just needed this piece. Definitely needed this piece. Or they somebody probably could have did some body work on this, honestly. Maybe another bumper. The bumper don't look that bad. Well, they got a crack right here. But they could have did surgery on this. They could have refurbished it. I'm actually looking for somebody to start refurbishing my bumpers. We're gonna look at one more. Now this was some something else I was looking at. That wasn't one of them. Now this is too much damage for me. Let's go back. That's too much damage for me. You know what I mean? For me, let me show y'all another good one that I I was looking at. 
where is one that I was looking at? I put a lot of this stuff in here just to see how much stuff was going to go for. Um, I just seen one, but I don't want to go go over that one. Or maybe I will go over that one. Oh, we're going to go over this one. Which one of these did I get? This one. Is this mine? Let me go to the... Yeah, this was mine. I bought this car. Man, I drove this car for a minute. Yes, this is mine. Bro, literally, I changed the headlight. Literally, I, I changed the headlight. That's all I did, guys. I changed the headlight. No airbag deployed. And I drove this car for a good little minute. No airbag deployed on this car. This car drove like a dream. This car drove like a dream. 1500 Come on, with the fees. 1900 out the door. I spent two grand on this car. Come on, man. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. So that's just a couple of uh, cars that I want to go over with you guys. Um, so to answer your question, would you buy? Would I buy a rebuilt title car? Yeah, I would. Do I think it's a good idea to buy a uh, rear title car? Uh, clear rebuilt title car do I think it's a good idea yeah I do and the reason is just because bro it's nothing going on with these cars I get I'm buying the cars with like minor super minor damage you feel me so it's just it does it to me it makes sense to buy a car for the cheaper price just with minor damage now uh reselling it is a different story. I made a video on that. Check that video out on me. We we talking about reselling salvage title cars. You know what I'm saying? Is that a good idea? Um, but I, I already went over that. Um, but yeah, guys. So that is just my um, personal opinion. You know what I mean? On if you should buy a rebuilt title car. I don't care if it's from the auction or from a private party. Somebody you just trying to buy off Facebook or something like that. Craigslist or something like that. Yeah, I do. You know what I mean? I think it's a good idea if you can find out what was going on with the car. All right. And again, this is my um, auto auction research tool. So uh, you can use this. As you can see, it is a it is a monthly membership. Um, but yeah, you do have to pay for it. Um, so what I was going to say, uh, the link is in the description below. All you have to do, let's just say you were trying to buy a rebuilt title car. All you would have to do is get that VIN number for that rebuilt title car, smack it in this website here, and you'll be able to see if it's been in Copar or if it's been in the insurance auto auction before and what it used to look like. You know what I mean? So that is what I really use this tool for. It comes in handy as well. So link for WHD Academy will be in the description. Link for this uh, website here will be in the description, my auto auction research tool. And link to a broker that you can also use if you were trying to buy a car from Copart or IA will also be in the description. But just make sure you get that academy before you just come and start buying cars. All right, get that monthly membership and you're going to be set. All right. And again, I even have the plug on how you can get your license the quickest, easiest, fastest way inside my full curriculum academy. All right. Appreciate you guys for tuning in and rocking with me. It's your boy Ray, WHD Academy. WHDacademy.com monthly membership for as little as 30 cent to $1 a day. Join my academy if you're interested in learning how to properly inspect cars, learn all my tips and tricks, and learn the easiest and the fastest way to get your auction license, no matter what state you're in and without having an actual car lot. And we also do monthly giveaways. The link is in the description below.